six. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the road to Street Fighter Six. We have a, a number of games still up to play. Don't worry, we're not reaching the end. I know we're here at Street Fighter Five, but it, needless to say, now that Street Fighter Six is on its way, Street Fighter Five is more interesting now that it's kind of like a done game. So one thing I do want to do is I want to actually go through the character stories again, not the general story mode. I don't need to go through that again, but the but the, the, the character stories, I don't even think I have it downloaded. It won't even let me. I'm going to go through the character stories because I did a lot of these, but I didn't do all of them. There's a point where I stopped, right? So I do want to check them out. I, I completely forgot about Luke. Um, we're going to go through not only the character stories, but then uh, two arcade runs with each of them. As for costumes, can we just... Okay, are they all story specific? Good. We'll keep them on story specific for now. We don't need to worry about that. Um, but now that it's done, we can sort of see where things are going, and I'm really curious oh, about that. So let's, let's go through in each episode a character story as well as... Uh, their Street Fighter V arcade mode, and then another one, uh, whichever one I feel like doing with them. Like, I did reuse Street Fighter 1, maybe we'll do Street Fighter 3. What's what's his deal gonna be in 3, right? So we'll we'll check it out. It'll just depend on how I'm feeling, but uh, let's start with Ryu here. Must destroy everything. The power of absolute destruction. To kill. That is the only destiny of your fist. I'm very happy we're done. No, you're wrong. We're done with that evil Ryu. Answer. That's done as of Street Fighter V. Like, he's completely finished that. I'm also surprised Gokin is still alive as of now, and I have a good feeling he won't become Street Fighter VI. I always found Gokin quite lame. I don't think he's a cool master. You were nearly consumed by the Satsui no Hado. I was... I take it you're Ryu, yes? I forgot how much Ryu? of Street Fighter V is just... Rashid of the it's Rashid being a, a cool dude. The the He's the best, though. And why has a hero come here? Long story, I won't bore you with it. In any case, could I ask you for a favor? I do really hope they don't I recast Rashid, I'm gonna say that. I wish to test my metal against you. Because I really Master. like Ian Sinclair as Rashid. <laughs> Why? The internet said when you assume a fighting stance, he doesn't hesitate to fight back. Are you not feeling well? The answer lies in the heart of battle. There's the quote. You somehow forget? Yep. You say that all the time. All the time. But master, it may eventually overwhelm. Oh, the, the little, of little guitar version of Ryu's theme. But yourself as well. You forget about how much there is remixes feet, in these stories. The of course, you don't need me to tell you that. Hey! <sighs> if you're not up to fighting today... Understood. I'll fight. Because in the general story mode, that's where Ryu basically <laughs> learns to accept the power of the Denjin, right? Alright, so let's just play around. We're just here for fun. Right. That wasn't the best. Oh dang, that crush counter. Stop that. I am really happy that Denjin is now just a move that he just can do whenever it's not a trigger. That's a, that's a good addition. Master. Remember when we this thought Azam would be playable? I learn more about my skills, and I'll get to go home with a great story. Thank you. I'm glad I was able to fight with you. Yeah, me too. See ya. You are leaving? Like him, I need to better understand this power. Hmm. Then I believe you should seek out Ken. 
He has been very worried about you. So funny that Street Fighter 3 yes. Ken is just always like, Ryu, you need to have a family and kids. And Sakura Sorry agrees. I'm late. Master told me about how you're doing. And about the Satsui no Hado. I'm gonna be honest. Of destruction. I'm alright with us master. losing Ruben Something Langdon for Ken. <laughs> just because okay. I can help you with that. I'm fine with Ruben Langdon not getting essentially paid with his on, crazy you. talk. He's Yeah. Let's do it. He's a good actor with some very worrying things that he says. Also cool block string baby. I really like this song. Also, why are we in Brazil? Boy, this is very early story mode stuff where they're just like, yeah, we have stages. We'll just go to them, you know? All right. Does he have an EX donkey kick? Yeah, he does. I was trying to see if we could do wall bounce stuff. Like, Street Man, Fighter V feels shabby. good, but I'm happy Bye. it's going to be a lot more free-flowing in 6, Don't you know? Worry about it. Even if you lost yourself to the Satsuno, I'd actually, you I'd know, to take you down and I know we're going to get Classic Ken, already. who's going to be like, right. you know, the Classic uniform. I kind of want to get Street Fighter V outfit Show. Ken, but looking good. Just the man I wanted to see. Satsuri no Hara is the power no man should have. These powers are drawn to each other, as I expected. We're going to have a fight. I need to understand this power. They no really played up its limits. Charlie being back alive, and I still call him Charlie, I don't care. They really he played that up. Well. And then it, you know, the story came and went, and that was kind of it, huh? It really feels like early Street Fighter V had some ideas that didn't fully go through and then later Street Fighter V did it better, at least a bit better, but it still still left some room, you know? Nice. Yeah, these battles are nothing. The real battles come once we move into um, arcade mode. This is just, this is just for fun. Cause like he's dead, dead after this. Satsui no Hado. It wasn't anything like I expected it to be. I'm still struggling to suppress it completely, but I've made up my mind. Until I find what lies ahead with this power, I'll keep moving and fighting, no matter what the answer is. I see. Then I guess it turns out we're not really after the same thing. But I did get something out. Thanks for that. Until we meet again. <laughs> yeah, that really was a certainly a early Street Fighter V story mode. They get better as time goes on, because I was pretty lame, all things considered. It gave us nothing. He just went and did some things. I'm curious if his if his arcade mode though is going to be something different. Okay, I'm going to do Street Fighter 3 first, and then we'll do his one for five. Well, no, because five and then three. So, no, I feel like that makes sense, because we'll, we'll go to, like, the newest point in the timeline. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. We'll go we'll go here, and then we'll go to three, because in that way, we'll get to sort of see where he goes from there. We'll go, we'll go easy just for now. Maybe I'll do harder after, but it's just because I don't have to want to redo a bunch of stuff. So let's hop into Street Fighter V's story and see what it does with Ryu. Let's see which it labels his as. I feel like it's going to be his general story stuff. As for costumes, we can have fun. Oh, but we got to go with Hot Ryu. Because, like, that is... That's what a lot of people... Oh, yo, Old Man Ryu? Shut up. I've never even seen that. That's rad. Go the let's battle. go with it. Um, I don't like Mind's Eye. And I like Denjin. Okay. Let's do this. Let's have some fun with, you know, Ryu and see what his story is, and then we'll do Street Fighter 3. That's what I think we'll do.
We'll do their five story and then their newest point in time or whatever else happens. Yo, that looks sick actually. Yeah, so Ryu he you know he he has he has some sauce, but he doesn't have all the sauce that he has later on. You know, because my man gets some sauce for sure later. Some of the stuff I'm seeing him do in 6 with the Denjin and his little new palm thrust, which apparently is like super plus on block. That's real good. Right? Whoop. I'm not trying to show you can actually. I'm trying to just pop a Hadouken. Oh, you know what? I was, I was like, my inputs aren't being read really great. It feels like it's missing some. And the answer is quite simple. Uh, my, my controller was under the table. And that would do that there. There we go. You know what this costume looks a bit like? It looks a bit like, like, at least when I see the beard. Like, if I cover the top of his head, it looks like the animated series version of Dr. Light. Matsuda Jiu-Jitsu, I remember my master mentioning it. Interesting. Uh, let, and let, I'm going to try to go with the Street Fighter V characters as much as possible, just because I don't fight them too much. Yeah, that might have been why I was missing some inputs. Don't put your controller under a metal table while you play. Not the best. I am looking into getting a fight stick. Because I uh, there's a Kanba store that sells them just right locally to me and if i were to do that then i would have a nice stick which i'm excited right. for minad has to come back she's way too good of a character design and it, and i think out of all the characters of recent sort of times she's the one that a lot of people really attach to like her her design is great her personality her voice it's all good right so that'd be one that I would kind of hope she gets brought back for some reason in the future. Currently, there's nothing. But, like, again, she's just one of those ones that you immediately look at as, like, a, a, a winning Street Fighter V design. Because Street Fighter V has some, some good, you know, newcomer designs. That's for sure. But uh, hers is, is one of the best for sure. Also, people ship her in Jury which I think is cute uh, for literally just because of a piece of art, and that's fine. Fate, huh? Me too, buddy. Yo, Zeku. I like Zeku. I really like Zeku. Zeku is a character that will never come back, but is really cool. Zeku is, what if we made Guy cool? I don't care for Guy. I think Guy is the lamest of all the Final Fight characters. But Zeku is Strider. And that's really cool. Round one. Them just Fight. deciding, hey, by the way, Strider is like canon to Street Fighter is one of the coolest twists we've had in like ages in a franchise. And it's it's and it's it's subtle. It's a subtle thing. It's not like the game really beats your head over that it is that he's, you know, the first Strider, but it's there. Look at him go. See, another another thing with like, you know, Street Fighter V kind of starting something and then not, not going in all the way is the fact that like all these little transitions in the stages, they're super cool. Shame they're only in the launch roster stages and, like, nothing else. Also, I think Zeku's theme might be my favorite theme in the game. Just real good. Oh, baby. That's what we want. We... Okay, maybe easy might be too easy considering it's ten of them, but I feel like it'll get tougher as we go in. Probably do medium next time. There's a definite uh, sense of depth to techniques from a long-standing disciple. Okay. Rashid time. Are we going to go to the, the, the super band stage? The one that makes weak-willed people throw up? 
I'm really excited to get back, though, the, like, the parry, the focus attack, and especially the drive system, where, like, you, well, no, that's the name of it, but the, 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 the dash drive or whatever, the one where it's, like, you Round forward, one. that's so good. They should bring back this stage. This in, like, HD for Furushi. Like, I, of course, you know, haha, -ha HD now, but you know what I'm saying. Aw, oh, see, I was going to try to follow that up, but I didn't. So I got to try to do that into probably a Shoryuken. It's probably what it would be the only thing that works. Oh no, he hit me the one time. Alright. Finish this off. Just... You ever just EX sure you can... It just feel good, man. You win. I'm, I'm happy we've committed to Ryu with the beard, though. It does look really good. Your real breath of fresh air feel invigorated. Yo, he's in. He's in. Okay, I've not fought akira at all in this game so i want to i want to see how she goes not even like again i kind of stopped playing right when dan was coming out so let's do this we will be doing playing some rival schools and like checking out checking out akira because I, I feel like they won't just do this as a one-off it's like final fight wasn't a one-off final fight was a we are adapting into into your world, right? So I feel like I feel like we're gonna get like I I could see Batsu for Street Fighter VI. That'd be cool. If not a new rival schools, you know. Oh, this is a good stage. Okay, I def I definitely picked too easy. Definitely, they're not even doing anything. But that's fine. We'll go to medium next time. All right. Okay. Yeah, that's what I wanted there. It's small, but for someone like me who's not really great at memorizing combo, um, that's good. I'm I'm not one. I know there's some people who will be in the lab and they will practice combos over and over. I'm definitely way more to uh, bond with your brother gives you strength. There's much to learn about the warriors, but okay. I'm very much more into the um, the ideas of just getting a good muscle feel because I won't remember strings of combos. I won't. I actually probably can't. My brain too stupid. All right, so can I just like? Cool, never mind. Oh, this is going great. Wait, okay, that wait, that's not going too bad. There we go. This this and speaking of it's like yeah, like like this is a guy from Final Fight. And he's just here. What, why did it sure you can? I was literally just holding down. What was that? What was that? That almost makes me feel like this also has the stupid rule of, yeah, there's a chance of, of uh, getting a, a unique thing. Oh, we got to go with my least favorite character in this game. And for the reason of he had so much potential, it's Nikali. Nikali was a character that should have been so cool, and yet, and yet my man, no, they did nothing with him. In the story, nothing, right? They set him up as this cool dude. I don't even, like, I think his gameplay's cool, I think his design's not bad, but it is just literally a case of they, they didn't know what to do with him. 
and he just became the ultimate jobber. Which is, I mean, I guess it's one thing. It's it's fine, I guess. You know, it's... Hey, Fei Long, I didn't notice you're up there. I wonder if they... I don't think they'll bring back Fei Long. And not, not for the drama reason of the, you know, the estate of, uh, you know, Bruce Lee or anything. I think just for the fact that, like, we're kind of, for the most part, past Bruce Lee clones. Oh, cool. Big whiff. I feel like, I feel like we're past that. In a world of so many more unique designs for fighters from China, you know? I mean, uh, J J Jamie? Jamie's the best. I felt nothing from your fists. Uh, let's go... Yeah, let's go, Vega. We've fought Akuma so many times. We don't need to do that again. Secret area. Secret area? Oh, we're not going to his tavern. Really? Huh. Sure. I guess because, yeah, it's not a, like a, that's a Street Fighter 2 stage where this is, this is more of a 5 one. Definitely. This is one of those stages that I'll forever associate with, with, with Street Fighter 5. This and the, the uh, Zangief's Bear Arena stage are like the most Street Fighter 5 like coded stages. All right. So I totally whiffed that jumping attack. Great job, me. Good. <laughs> I laugh every time he just does the good. Yeah, approach me, bro. Approach me, bro. All right. I miss, I miss focus attack dash cancel so much. I just want to do it, man. I just want to focus attack dash cancel. Like that, that is a feature that still is just muscle memoried in and not because of Street Fighter 4, but because of Smash. Do you really think true beauty comes from hurting others? Oh, we got to fight Fang, or Fong, as some say. Another character that I don't think will ever get back. Although, Aki, though, oh boy, getting Fem Fang seems real nice, actually. I'm down with that. Layer of the Four Kings. He's such a weirdo, but I do appreciate his weirdo-ness. Like, originally I thought Fang was like the worst of the Street Fighter newcomers. But no, I think, or the Street Fighter V ones. I think, like, now that we've seen that, Fang actually gets some good sort of stupid stuff. And then Nikali gets nothing. Like, yeah. Get you out of there. God, I forgot about half of these stage elements. That's that's good. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever understand the ninjas and wizards thing going on here. It was always a bit weird. And robots. Ninja, wizards, and robots. Like, what's up with that? Okay. Finish it off. There we go. It's interesting that there is in the game's data a second super for Ryu that only occurs if you're doing the super boss Ryu from Extra Battle. Hello? Is this whomst I think it is? Is this the secret the secret opponent? Let's see. Is it ya boy? Yeah! I was kind of wish we were on his weird space station stage. 
Now, if we're talking top tier newcomers, because it is my duty. what a freaking weirdo! I love G. Like, for those of you who don't know, we're gonna get to G's story later. Don't worry. But it's it's the most insane stuff. Like, I I we we saw G and we're like, oh, this guy's a weird sort of like villain, right? And then, no, he's just a weird guy with a YouTube channel. I love that so much. Alright. And here's the thing. We see G in the opening of Street Fighter VI, uh, the, the single-player campaign. He's... Out of all the... Like, it shows all the playable characters. But also G, which is a bit strange. I don't know why G is shown there in his in this design. It makes me feel like G's gonna be the villain of World Tour. Oh, he's got he's got some schmoves. But I mean, we could do that too. I I am forever sad that G's president of the world rap is an in-game. That's a bit of a shame. Yeah, Ryu isn't happy that he's, he beat up someone even more hobo than him. Uh, oh, we gotta go Kage, right? Cause he's, cause he's a big bad for Ryu. The battle within and all that. Oh, we'll have more than enough time with Ed, so I'm not too worried about that. People who call him Cage make me laugh. Okay, so we are at the Ring of Power, so these stages do appear. I was like, I wonder if the DLC stages will appear. And yes, in this case, we do. We get to see a whole crowd of people watching Ryu fight his inner demons. Okay, so we're starting to actually get some... Uh, Stuff, God, just all of them on their seats back there. The the heavenly kings. That's cool. All of these uh CPT stages are really good stages. Like yeah, they're also like stages that you know are cool esports arenas, but they're also good stages. Like that. That's cool. That's cool. And, and if you're playing as one of them, uh, they get replaced in the background. That's also good. I think Sagat will replace um, one of them if you play as them. And if you're playing as two of them, then one of the seats just goes empty. Like, that's super cool. Okay. Let me try something a bit crazy. The big dungeon damage. You win. Yeah. If you want to exist, then exist. If you want to leave, then leave. Dang, called out. And Bison's the final boss, huh? Sure. All right. I guess that makes sense. He is the final boss of the story. Street Fighter V is the end of Bison. The end of Shadowloo. Oh, come on. We couldn't be back in that other arena. If the final sets of battles are all just Layer of the Four Kings, that's super boring. Bow down before my cycle. Bow. Is he going to be... Like, maxed out? I don't know, man. Okay. He's got combos, though. Woo! He's got crush counters. Okay. He's real. Well, maybe not. Yeah, okay. It's always weird when you fight a boss who's like... Oh, they can do big combo, but they also don't defend? Sure.
Okay. Oh, this is gonna be nothing then, huh? Okay, picking easy was a mistake. There we go. One more. Get out of here. All right. Win. I won't be defeated by the one who seeks nothing more than power. All right, what is Ryu's ending here? Is it him getting the Denjin, the, the power of Mu, the nothingness? Well, the answer is loading, is what it is. Uh, when they lose their way, they find their answers within the fight. Their two fists say everything that needs to be said. Oh, they, he doesn't even do anything. It's just, yo, yeah, we, we, we fight. That's what we do. Ooh, Jun Tsukasa. Why does that name sound familiar? Why does that art look super anime? Who is Jun Tsukasa? Why does that name sound familiar? Jun Tsukasa is best known for his gorgeous pinups of buxy women. Wow, yeah, no, he, he draws a lot of Dojin stuff. Okay, yep. Oh, yeah, he's a Dojin artist. Oh, because he's done some stuff for... um. KOF. Not official, though. Okay, good art, good art. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Marth? Thank you for cool, playing. nice. I like the special artwork that you get. That's a cool thing. Okay, like I said, though, we are going to do one more. Let's also do his Street Fighter 3 era to, uh, to see what's up with that. We'll go normal. Do a bit harder, even though we got to deal with uh, Gil, but that's fine. So let's see what's as as of the, as of the latest thing, and we can also have more fun. We go B Boy School, CPT, Red Bull, Arthur, Ad, Jin. The Jin one's pretty fun. Mega Man one's silly. The Kyrie one's just a good costume though. I kind of want to go with this one because it's so silly. The Jin one's legitimately just a great costume though. Actually, does he have like a Ryu color? That's cool looking I'm gonna go with that you go beyond the battle and you know we'll, we'll we'll switch it up here let's do this Brazil. and of course if you know about this costume you know what it's Easter egg of course so we'll uh we'll, we'll show that off beat up Oro here Oro was fun I enjoyed Oro Round one. oh yeah this is just a good Fight. costume Alright, let's actually get some real fights in, though. Yo, the cross-up on that? Oh, that's a good cross-up. Yeah, baby. Oh, that is that is a good tool. That is a good tool. Alright, let me put in the code. I'll show you what it does. Let's do it. There we go, baby. I, I, it's so funny. One of the reasons they put in this costume is uh, in in Honda's story mode, they needed naked Ryu. And so this is what they use, of course. Actually, this one just looks like naked Ryu because he has the red headband still kind of. Except it has V on it. Get out of here, old man. You win. <laughs> Just my man's out here. And it's it's all because of uh oh the Tukas. Sinjutsu sounds interesting, but I prefer to walk my own path. Yeah, Alex time. Of course it's because um that was his taunt in Marvel vs. Capcom Jin. He just gets naked and wipes himself down. Came out of nowhere, you know? But hey, I mean it's uh it's a cool thing. It's a nice that it's in. Cause it's it's not like he did that in in Cyberbots, because you don't even really see Jin in Cyberbots. What a half the Marvel vs. Capcom characters though you look at and you're like, you are just an original character that they wanted to kind of do stuff with. Like like Strider. 
like, well, okay, no, no, Str Strider at least, you know, I guess makes sense, but some of the ones that just never even fought out of their, you know, whatever they did, you know, Jin there, um, it, it's just, it, it's, it's a strange thing for sure. Ooh, Alex is fun. I am saddened Alex isn't back, honestly. Like, I, that's, that's, that's a character who I believe fully deserves to be in in street oh the hot dog Good. he fully deserves to be in six look at that power of new york baby see now th these are better nice Oh my god, is this gonna work? Nope. But this will. I was like, oh man, he's stunned. Can I do something cool? The answer was no. Hey, but if this was Street Fighter 6, I probably could have. Your fish show a lot of potential. I'll wait for the day we meet again. Yeah, in Street Fighter, you know. <laughs> once we get to Street Fighter 3, and then. And then never, but then again, if we go with the ending of Gil taking over Alex and making Seraphim Alex with the two colors and the six wings, that'd be another cool thing because we know um, Gil makes his paradise in Street Fighter VI. We see advertisements for it, so it's like, what's what's gonna happen? Will we go there? Will that be the final location? I don't know. Fight. Boy, that, that that is such a high kick. Yeah, no, I actually I do like Ken's new uh, voice actor. It's um the guy who does Todoroki in the My Hero Academia dub, and I really like him. So I mean, it's it's one that I'm I'm very fine with. And plus, as my friends have pointed out, um, it's nigh indistinguishable from Ruben in combat at least. It's only when he's speaking normally that he sounds different. But it does sound older and more mature, which I think fits for what they're going with with him. Is that gonna work? Yep. I wanna do more 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 playing with those cross-ups, you know? Yeah, like, that's such a silly move. I enjoy that silly move. You win. This Ryu is, is actually kind of baller. This isn't finished yet, right, Ken? No. Really? We have a bonus stage here? I thought bonus stages were only in uh, the 2 and 5, but I guess not. That's fine. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll do that. Maybe they added it to all of them now. Ready. All right, now, now that I know what to do, which is going to be that. There we go. Yeah, get out of here. Yeah, baby. I feel like I'm, like, fully invincible during that, too, pretty much. Stop that. Hey, look at that, we did it. I hate this minigame. Um let's go with Kuma. Let's go with him. Why not? Said we fought him before, but let's go with him again. I want him to see Ryu and be like, what the hell are you wearing? Bro, what is that? Also, them cutting back a bit on the lion Akuma is good. I, I, I don't love the full lion head thing that they went with with this. I like they pulled that back. Just just enough. Just enough in six. Round one. All right. Fight. All right. So then let's... Nice. Keep up the pressure. Okay. Get you right there. 
This is a good stage, too. I like this one. It's very atmospheric, right? Yeah, baby! Perfect! You win! Some of the some of the post battle like sounds they don't cut perfectly, I'll say. Uh Chinners, yeah, let's up that difficulty a bit. God Shen Li is very attractive in six, and anyone who disagrees is wrong. She is just very attractive. Right? Yeah, and then they give her the different color for this. It's a subtle thing. It's a subtle thing, but you can see it. Round one. All right. Fight. Chun Li is a character that I love to see in games, and is you know, I'm like, yeah, she should be in. She's she she is Street Fighter at this point. Uh, however, I don't like playing as her. Like, at all. I'll see if that changes with six, but from what I've seen with them making her more complicated, the answer is no. Boy, she's getting those 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 micro steps in, huh? Oh, I forgot I didn't have Denjin anymore. I forget what that does now. What his other What his other one does. Doesn't it give him a different move or something? I don't remember. Oh, that's not true. Oh, no, it was. Okay. Yeah, like, what, what are you doing approaching me? You see, I got that, right? What? Thank you. See, I want to do that. Yeah, see, just because it's fun. Parry for no reason other than it's fun. Them deciding Ryu's special ability was parry was not a good idea. All right, here we are. It's him. And he's all glowy. Officially, I've learned that this is called Omega Gill, which is not the best choice of name, considering, like, Omega is a whole separate thing in Street Fighter IV. I do find it interesting that Omega Mode Harmony. was, like, them experimenting the with stuff for Street Fighter V, and then Luke was them experimenting with stuff for Street Fighter VI. I wonder Fight. if we're going to get something like that for for Street Fighter VI, then, where it's going to be, like, here's, here's our final thing for the game, and it's experimenting with stuff for later, right? Like, it's, it's not, it's not for, for now. Right? It's it's here's here's our experimental, you know, weirdo. Alright. Oh cool big whippies. Stop! Yeah, there we go. Pop it for no reason other than you know, other than getting uh, the cancel. Whoop. Oh, how'd you get me backwards, bro? Okay. Oh yeah, you get those. You get access to that full combo so easy. Oh boy. Hey, stop. Wow. That's not going to work. Nope. Okay. That was a problem. That was a problem. That whole thing wasn't very good for us. Oh, and of course he has resurrection too. I forgot about that. 
Once again, he did a Shoryuken when I actually didn't want him to. Oh, if he gets a combo, it's it's just, it's just, yeah, he gets it. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, this is not good. I completely forget what Ryu's V Trigger 2 does. What does it do? Like, that's... Ryu V Trigger 2. What does that do? I completely forget. Gives you an enhanced parry. Cool. All right. Let's try this again. That sucks. An enhanced parry. Are you serious? So I he has two parries right now? Stop that. Is that literally it? Whiffing it takes half your time while connecting consumes the whole bar. On hit, it crumples. Oh, right. It's like a special attack. Right. It's, it's not the same. All right. Well, we get to try another costume, I guess. Let's go with the power of Mega Man. This costume is banned because of his be big, stupid hand. Um, yeah, we'll go back to that. All right. Power of, of Mega Man. This costume has no purpose for existing other than the Hadouken looks kind of like a charge shot. Even still, it should have been X, we agree, right? Like, X makes more um, sense than classic. That is the truth of what All you right. Seek. Round one. It's so silly. Oh, it's just every time he gets a free combo. Oh, come on. I was DPing. Like that. Come on. Oh. oh, I was trying to do the sword you can. Didn't work. All right. What if I do his code? What does he get? Oh, sure. Oh boy, I got it. I got it. That first round went so well, and then it didn't. Okay. Okay. All right. When he goes in on you, he goes in on you, huh? Okay, getting getting to level 5 Omega Gill might have been a bad idea. Might have been a terrible idea. Alright. Let me cut ahead till I win. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,
Oh, and of course, like, I, I do it in pretty much one right after. Well, right, I forgot he resurrects. Oh, but he keeps his stun. Oh, that whiffed. Okay, wait, hold. As soon as I start talking, huh? Does this game have a built-in microphone detection? Maybe. Okay, wait. There we go. Cool, I love whiffing that. Come on. So close. No, don't you dare. Ho, oh, don't you do it. There we go. Okay, yeah. No, I did it in one right after. And all it took was changing into his weird Street Fighter 1 color scheme. That's kind of cool looking. It's kind of cool, actually. Emperor does seem like you're all talk, but if you can fight, I'll fight. All right, so wh what does he do? What's the last thing that he does before Street Fighter 6? Let's see here. The answer is... Just what is true Street? Wow! Nothing! Then again, Ryu's not one for story. All of his story scenes are just him being like, I'm just chilling, yo. Hey, the classic legacy art. Yeah, that's good. Thank you for playing. Yeah, no, it just it it, it out of all of them, why was I expecting any story from Ryu? I'm just I I sh I shouldn't have even expected it. All right, guys, thank you all for watching. Like I said, I'll be doing some uh some Street Fighter Five, um, story mode stuff. Just checking out the characters, checking them out, uh, getting ready for Street Fighter Six. So we'll see how that goes. You know, mostly ones that are... Uh, I probably won't do everyone, but definitely the ones that I'm really curious about coming back for Street Fighter VI. Um, yeah, so we'll see you then for that, guys. Ciao.